What is up, everybody? It is the 2nd of August. And I finally got a day to come out here and work on the bird. I have had uh, some of my prayers answered. My eldest daughter has moved in with us, so I haven't done much working on anything. I've been, she's been my number one priority. Um, spending time with her, making sure she's got her room set up, she's ready for school all that stuff but I'm out here today and we're gonna get some time in on the on the bird uh, but first things first uh, you know we got this puppy and I gotta do cleanup so this dog it's kind of like a tweaker she just finds stuff sticks sponges whatever <laughs> and destroys everything so I'm gonna pick that stuff up real quick and then uh, We'll get in the shop and we'll talk about what we're going to do. Some stuff cleaned up i was messing with my sink over there i need to get that thing working it's never worked in the three four years i've had this shop but let me show you what we got so we got the ram back from kelly uh that side's been shortened two inches we're gonna get it up in the falcon and go from there this thing is supposed to be sitting at ride height to set the pinion angle but we're going to probably have to do it with jack stands because I do have axles. Kelly let me borrow some axles, but I don't know if they're gonna work for what I'm trying to do. And I don't have the uh, plates that hold them in. And I also don't have um, studs. These are the big 5.8 studs. And I'm not sure if I can use those on these Chinese wheels. I know um, Hayden did with Meticulous. Um, I'll drop a little link to his video, but I've yet to find out how to do that. So I'll show you what the axles look like. So these are strange, 35 spline. These are some big, some big suckers here. Let's compare these to the ones that came out of it. Uh, here's the ones that came out, 28 inch or 28 eight spline and then the 35. So huge difference there. I'm gonna get you guys on a time lapse, get the car up in the air, and then I'll start putting this sucker together.
So basically from here to here, we got four and a quarter inches. And from here to here, four and a quarter inches. Uh, the axle is gonna stick out two and a half inches. So, and then let's take a look. We look down here. We may be maybe a little bit shy of center, but man, we're we're pretty damn close if you ask me. So I will tighten the U-bolts down here. I'm not sure if this is an acceptable way to do this. However, I have the wrench sitting down three degrees. As you can see, there's 87 degrees right there. So I'm gonna tighten up the U-bolts and then we'll lower the car down, set it on jack stands, see if that changes at all. And then potentially uh, we can tack these perches. Uh, this thing's the centers it's gonna get. Lower the car down on some jack stands, I guess, see if it changes. And then uh, I'll, we'll, probably what I need to do right quick is remeasure from, remeasure from there to there, make sure we got four and a quarter inches and it didn't move over here too. If that's good, then I think we can start tacking these bad boys. And another thing we're going to be able to do is get my anti-roll bar tabs tacked. That way, for sure, when Kelly does what he's doing, we're not going to have all these issues again. So um, I'm going to do that too. So I, got, you know, I've got to make sure that they're 90 degrees that way. But um, I'll be able to get these bad boys tacked as well.
little higher than what my ride height would be. But uh, we're there. Um, I may throw the shocks on real quick. All right, uh, I moved the jacks and we moved, uh, we're about six degrees down. So, wait, where are we at? 84, yeah, so we're about six degrees down. It really needs to go up about three degrees. So I'll probably raise the car back up. Probably just put it at zero and then let the car back down and that should give us three degrees. Okay, put the rear end back at 90 degrees. Lowered it back down. I'm about a half a degree off. I'm at 87 and a half, which I'm thinking that that might be all right. But as you can see, 87 and a half. I'm gonna go take care of some school stuff with my kids. And when I get back, I'll come back out and we'll get back to it. All right, you guys, welcome back. It's Wednesday. Um, didn't end up doing anything last night. Hung out with my daughter oldest daughter and my pops and my friend Tim but uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what we got we're ready to start um, tacking brackets in and then I can get the rear end out and uh, weld all that stuff up then we can get it over to Kelly and Kelly can finish the front brace and the new bottom brace and that'll be that for this portion of what the heck we're doing so let me show you so I've got the car on the jack stands to kind of simulate my ride height. I've got my downlink bars for the anti-roll bar. I've got them 90'd up. So I need to tack those tabs um, there. And I've got this strap kind of holding the anti-roll bar from moving. Um, are centered in the car there with the plumb bob so I will uh, get the TIG welder out and start tacking Got these things tacked uh when I, you're using the finger trigger on my welder um it's just whatever uh, amps you set it at so i freaking melted the bottom as you can see but i'll be able to fix that but i got all these tacked i got the purchase tacked so i'll have to get it up on the bench and uh, get some nice welds and fully weld those out but those bad boys are in. I'm gonna lower the car, move stuff out of the way, lower the car down a little bit, get back in there, make sure the downlinks for the anti-roll bar go in good. 
And then um, I'll probably pull this thing out, get it on the bench, and uh, get welding. My gosh, man, if you don't TIG weld for a long time, or at least me, shaky. Um, but I did get the perches on, and um, the brackets for the anti-roll bar are on. Um, I'll show you what we got, and then tomorrow I'm going to take this sucker to Kelly so he can finish the front brace and rear brace. And the rear end part of this will be done as far as the housing, then I'm going to have to order the axles. But I'll flip the camera around, show you what we got, and then... Um, We'll catch you on the next video.